My people, if you know, say you did for Italy, you, you get picking. I beg, make una listen to this vital information. Where this our Nigerian lady will be pharmacist for Italy. The vital information where she give concerning picking. Even if you know the stay for Italy, this information is still the necessary. It's still the important. Make we listen together. So you live in Italy and you have little kids. Please and um, please do not let the situation of living as an immigrant affect your children. Hear me out. Number one, enroll your kids in extracurricular activities. Extracurricular activities, I mean, enroll them in culture, in swimming, in um, paddle, Muay Thai, Karate, whatever you want to do. They are living in a country where um, diversity is still in the face of being accepted. Registering our children in one or two of these activities actually gives them a confidence boost. And it also helps their interactions with fellow children. It gives them the opportunity to actually figure out in time what they would prefer or like to do matter of fact it is a necessity for their mental development don't sleep on it number two rent or buy a house with no occupants living beneath you i'll explain further now let's say you rent an apartment or you buy a house and you have a neighbor living beneath you let's say it's a grandma and she's she's got grown-up children that have left the house probably has grandchildren that stay far from her you decide to live in the apartment on top of her and you have little kids that are going to be running around making all sorts of noise having their fun time being kids as they should it's obvious that she would frustrate your life i have a story time to tell you guys about this place where i used to live before but that story for another day buy or rent a house that probably has a shop under you a garage under you but not living occupants if you live in an apartment and you have people with younger kids beneath you perfect study the apartment before you buy get to understand who is living beneath me this person not frustrate my kids because the last thing you need is kids that would not be kids point number three take them on vacations vacations i don't mean taking them to nigeria when it's christmas time Mbakwa. let them have fun like take them out book a flight to paris take them to disneyland in paris take them to places nearby if you don't have the financial capacity to do it because um the kids are many or um, reduced amount of income then no problem no wahala just take them around italy there are many beautiful cities you can go to with them in italy finally number four once a year ensure you book an appointment with their pediatrician this appointment is not just because the child has cough or kata or one problem or the other or run a fever no this appointment is specifically to check the charts the pediatric charts from when we give birth to our children there's a particular chart that actually tracks their growth over the years so this specific appointment once a year just so you know my child getting obese is my child too skinny appointment is very important because this is the point where the doctor figures out if he or she is to prescribe um the analysis the sang where that's the blood work for your child just so we know is the child having any deficiency is there is the baby having a deficiency in vitamin d is it um vitamin k is it b ferro is it iron that way we are sure you're sure of your child's growth and everything is set in so i believe the european system is same in all of europe so i'm talking to my africans asians and you know do these four things for your kids i just needed to chit chat with you guys and give you guys this point so yeah bye my people now don't watch the video first i want to say thanks to this woman thank you very much man for this vital information so i beg my people make one try follow her for tiktok i put her name there make one follow her so we just listen we just live on like that make we think about and put them into practice it will help our picking them Thank you and remain blessed.